So I have no idea what's on this list. This is the top 10 coffee products. Prettiest coffee. Prettiest. Products. We're qualifying it for pretty, prettiest? Yeah. Okay. They have to work at like base level great. Yeah. I'm just going to call that straight top 10, according to you. But it's because they're pretty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is my wife, Sarah. If you haven't seen her yet on our Instagram, she's fantastic. Oh, I have to have like an all time prettiest? I just want to tell you my 10 favorite coffee things because okay. they're pretty. Okay, so we're gonna go 10 favorite coffee things that are pretty in yeah. no particular order. Yeah. Okay, first one is? First one is the niche grinder. The, okay, the which zero, one? The, the zero? Because it's a wee bit smaller. Okay. It looks pretty on the counter. Mm -hmm. This is why the niche is so popular. The end. <laughs> the end? Oh, it's pretty well, on the counter? <laughs> that's it? That's your only qualifier? Well, I already said baseline, they're great. Husbands, take note. It's <laughs> no, pretty like, on the counter. No, no, it also makes really good coffee. Okay, yes, I agree. And it wouldn't be okay on the counter if it didn't make really good coffee. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, I wouldn't just like it because it's pretty, also but it doesn't, good. doesn't work well, you know? Yes. Okay, so let's unpack this for because I hear this all the time on my channel, too. What makes the niche pretty? It's cute. <laughs> Okay, is that it? Uh, I like the wood features. Okay. Uh, I like the white version personally, but in the right space, the black one would be really nice too. But the wood doesn't match our like walnut motif that we have well, going. I'm fine is that with okay? That. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I just like the warmth that wood adds to. You know, you can things. get walnut for it. That that people it make doesn't, it. That doesn't matter to me. Okay. Okay. Well, there we go. I think the top of it looks nice. It's easy to keep clean because. You can take off the little wood piece and clean it off. Yep, it is easy because, to clean. So yep. it looks pretty, it's easy to keep it pretty, it's pretty. Fair, okay, that's great. Yeah. So that's our first prettiest product. Yes. Niche Zero Coffee Grinder. Yes. Next item. Is? Is the Zerno Grinder. Oh, okay. Yes, it's okay. very pretty. It's a little okay. bit more masculine. I also love using it. Are you saying? And it looks pretty on the counter. Are you saying the Zero is feminine? Well, right? the, no. Okay. No, I think just that the Zerno the is Zerno more masculine. The Zerno is more like edgy. Okay. Literally. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's what I mean. Maybe that's not. I shouldn't assume that's masculine. Okay. No, I see what you're saying. <laughs> it's got more like brushed aluminum, straight lines. Yeah. Yeah. On, going on on it. But I think it's quite handsome. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting that you said it was handsome though, not pretty. Right. It's different. What makes it different? Okay. It's got wood features on it. It's got a nice finish. It looks mm -hmm. really nice on the counter. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think maybe just the edgy edginess and a little bit yes. more aluminum makes it yes. feel more, I don't know. It's also a small <laughs> grinder. There's a trend here going with the first two items. Yeah. Huge grinders. Mm. No. Too much space. Mm. Too gigantic. Okay. If they cannot fit under here. Is that a, that's yeah. a problem? Yeah. Well, if they can't fit under there, they're not going there. Exactly. But I will put them somewhere else. No. <laughs> <laughs> those are my favorite two grinders because they're pretty. Okay. 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 So those are the top two grinders, the Niche yes. and the Zerno. Yes. Next now, item. That pretty coffee dripper. <laughs> you know okay. the one I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, this one that yes. we got at SCA. Yes. Now, let me just say, I don't think... I've ever had a coffee out of this, and I don't even know if it makes good coffee, but it's so beautiful that I'm okay with it. This is just really beautiful. It makes, good, it makes a good cup of coffee. Does it? Yeah. Okay, because I don't think I've had a coffee out of it. This is from... Uh, but I think it's so pretty. <laughs> this is from ODZ, and I we, believe they're a Thai manufacturer. Yeah, we got and, it at SCA. Yeah, and Mike actually... Yeah, he, got, found, he found it first. And said, hey, you got to check this out. And we yeah. loved it, obviously, and we bought it. Yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Um, what did you say about this when I first put it in the cabinet? It could just be artwork. Like I wanted it on the center display because it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like I just like to look at it. Yeah, it is quite nice. And that counts for something. Now, if it was in white or like pink, is it this color combo that makes you like it? It's the shape and the color. Okay. And to be honest, all the ones that they had were beautiful. Yeah. I liked these colors for our home, I guess. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. The other dripper I like is okay. that mint green one with the wood base. 
I, I think, think I know what one you're talking about. Do you want to go origami? get it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. This one. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah, I like this one. Now, does this fall into the pretty handsome categorization as well? No, actually. No, it doesn't? You like this one just as much? Yeah. Yeah? Well, I like the Zerno just as much as the yeah? Niche, okay. But... So the third one was ODZ, fourth one, Origami. And I feel like we should give a disclaimer, the porcelain edition. Yes. I don't think yeah. you would like the plastic one. Yeah, you're right. I like the porcelain. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. in both. I don't, I think these guys make a plastic one. I could be wrong about that, but yeah. porcelain for both. Am yeah. I right? Yeah. Okay. So these are not in any particular order. Okay. And I'm basically grouping them by category. Okay. Sounds good. So coffee maker. Yes. Although they're all coffee makers. Yes. The ratio. It's a, I don't it's know. It's a stunner, isn't it? Yeah. Is it the six or the eight? I don't know the difference. You like the eight. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. It could be artwork and it makes an amazing pot of coffee that I love to serve people. Yeah. And a big pot. Yeah. It looks like artwork. Okay. It looks like it's got clean, smooth edges. There's not a lot of buttons. Mm hmm It's very simple, has yep. nice white finish. Does it come in other colors or no? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah. Comes Most of ours is white because and I think metal also. We usually stick to white because yeah. it's a classic yeah. for our kitchen. And then the wood pieces on the side. Yeah. And then the shape of the glass. Yeah, it's nice. It's all just Now you have also told me that that is a coffee maker that you actually enjoy to use. And yeah. most of them you don't. Yeah. So why is that? Because it's simple. Mm. And like the top on it feels like so substantial. That is probably my favorite part on that whole Actually, machine. Actually, same with the Zerno. There's something about like the lid you take on and off, mm -hmm. feeling like yep. solid and secure. Yep. But this isn't about how it feels to use. It's about how pretty it is. Okay. Well, just to, know that, <laughs> just to know that you feel like it's nice to use. Yes. I feel like that yeah. is a factor in your overall perception. If it doesn't feel nice to use, it's not on the list. Okay. Oh, fair enough. So now we're into the final five in right. no particular order. In no particular order. Okay. The Newton Espresso Press. I love that one too. Me too. And it's orange. And like, I would not say, yeah, let's put an orange espresso press on our couch. Yeah. Except for this one. Yeah, orange and black. Yeah. And maple. But it's like, yeah, it's got a little bit of wood on it, mm -hmm. but it's lean. It makes a nice espresso. Yeah. It looks tidy and yeah. Nice I'm in the you. corner. Yeah, I'm with you. I have like a little bit of an affinity for that yeah. little machine. And I would like it back. We have too many grinders over there. Um, it's downstairs. I can bring it back up here. Only if four grinders go away. Mm. That's not a fair trade. <laughs> so <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, they have one in white now also okay. a white frame oh interesting so i don't know i don't know i kind of I, like, I like the black i like the black and the orange i think the white one has like a black body on it i'm with you i like that one a lot yeah. okay i like that one okay next one uh the fallow kettles oh and i say I kettles because i don't know which one is my favorite yeah i think we <laughs> have all three really of them beautiful. within eyesight like, right now i think this one is very pretty Mm -hmm. But I would probably say the white one is the prettiest. Oh, right there. It's back there, yeah. right there. Yeah. I'd probably say the white one is the prettiest. And this is like the kettle that we use multiple times a day. Yep. Although I will say I'd like one that doesn't have the pour spout because when I make tea. Don't say that. They'll send us one. Then we'll have another one. Well, when I make tea, I'm like burning myself, taking the lid off because the steam's coming out and I can't wait for it yeah. to pour. Maybe what we should do, um, because I actually have the fellow Pro Studio edition, which only comes in black over on our other bar. And that one really is more of a tea kettle. So maybe we should get, I think that one is called the Corvo, where it's got a normal spout on it in white mm -hmm. for over here. Could we just swap it out on the same base? Because we don't have to have two kettles sitting out all the time. But one could be under the counter. We just swap out what we're using. Uh, the Pro Studio uses a different base. <sighs> I know. Sorry. Also, the Pro Studio pour is really nice for pour over. Oh. Okay. Well, that could work. <laughs> okay. Next one. The little blue espresso machine. Uh, that's, that's, never the, um, that's the Escasso Dream. Yeah. You like that one. Yeah. It's yeah, really cute. that falls into a similar category as the Niche Zero for me, visually. 
kind of curvy. Yeah, it's curvy. It's small. Light footprint. You know, that's a pretty nice espresso machine. Yeah. I, like I those liked machines. the espresso that came out of it. Yeah. I also really like the small white escasso. The duo? Is that the duo? Yeah. That was... Not the baby tea. No. I like the duo. The duo is I like the smaller. look of the duo. So is this one or two? Well, it's one. This is okay. one. Okay. The little blue espresso machine okay. is my favorite. The Escasso dream. But I was like torn between. Yeah. The duo is a great machine. Yeah. If for functionality, I would choose the duo. Yeah. The dream. It's just is, super cute. It's cute. Pretty good value. Yeah. Nice machine. And it, I like um, the copy that came out of it. What color? Well. I know we have the blue one. I think they're all pretty cute. For us, okay. I think the blue because I think it just. Yeah. Yeah, it just See works. Yeah. yeah, it just works. But somebody else might like a different yeah. color. And yeah, that's a nice machine. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I, like I thought you were going to pick the Duo. Well, I was torn because I could almost be swayed right now. But the little blue one, like if I was going to buy one for myself and I decided I wanted an espresso yeah. machine, which you would, would not definitely ever buy happen, that one in a store. That would be the one I would buy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, now we got two left. <clears throat> we got two left. I've jumped all over my list. Okay, that's Here's, okay. I'm out of Not order. gonna look. I'm out of order. Hold on. Okay. Okay, this is kind of funny, but it's this mug. Oh, it's now, this mug right here. This mug is pretty simple and not necessarily the prettiest. I guess it should have its category of its own. But this mug <laughs> is an ember, keeps yes. my coffee warm, and it feels like a friend that's got my back. Ember doesn't know this. They haven't told me to say this. And I think they're missing a market. Yeah, you've said this a lot. About they Ember. are missing the mom market because when I'm running all over the house and I'm sad my coffee's going cold, this feels like a friend that's got my back. So. Now, wait a minute, <laughs> though. Wait a minute. I feel like we need a disclaimer on this one because when I told you about the Embers, I remember the earful I got. I thought they were so stupid. <laughs> you did. You almost like, didn't even let me take it out of the box. No, that's not true. I was just like, Pfft. You could not believe that this was actually a thing. And that somebody would spend that much money on a mug so, that keeps their coffee warm. I yeah, so, was so silly. For, any, for somebody watching who doesn't know what this is, we probably need to explain it. Yeah. It goes on a coaster. Um, and basically you set a temperature within an app. It doesn't just keep your coffee hot. It keeps it at the right temperature that you want to drink at it, drink it at. So when you come and you get your cup of coffee and it's at a specific temperature and you're like, that is perfect. And then before you know it, it gets too cold and you're like trying to chuck it back. The Ember never lets it get to that point, but you thought it was so dumb at first yeah, before you used it. Before I used it, I thought, it was completely unnecessary. And yes. I would say it is still pretty much unnecessary. But you love if it. If we're gonna define the need. Yes. However, I used to never finish my coffee. Mm. And now I always finish my mm -hmm. coffee. Mm -hmm. And it feels like a friend that's got my back. Yeah. Amber needs to call me. You're missing a market. I'm just saying. I, when I, actually, <laughs> when we got the first one, it was the black one. Yeah. And. I used it. And I stole it. Yeah. And bought you another one. Yeah. No, did we get the white one first? No, we got, yeah. I, oh yeah, and then yeah. you, and then you I actually you did steal one. it. Yeah, I literally, yes, that's right. this is the one. Yeah, okay. And like, I've been drinking out of this every day for years. Anyways, so it is like, it's a fairly simple, pretty little mug, but the beauty is what it can do. Yeah. Not just, I guess for all of them, the beauty is what it can do, but yep. also visual. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we're on the last one. Is this, we, do we have one left? We have one left. Okay. And this is actually not something that we have. Okay. We don't actually have like everyday coffee mugs that I think are beautiful. And every time I see the not neutral mugs, I'm not even sure that they sell them for home use. I think they might just be for cafes, but the not neutral mugs I think are wow. beautiful. I did not think this was going to be your number one. This is not, they're in no particular order. Okay, that's I true. was just saving it for last that's because true. it's a bit of a- Okay, so this is not your number one, but this yeah. is the last one. Yeah. I actually don't even know the name. I'm just gonna look it up. Pico, the not neutral Pico cups. Yes, that's the one. Not neutral, like... DM to collab. <laughs> <laughs> These are the ones you're talking about, yeah, right? Coffee mugs have such potential for beauty and character, don't they? 
Yeah. And we feel like we don't have everyday These ones are nice, too. They, they're they like a combo of like, they're a little angular. Can you buy single ones? Uh, yeah. She's adding it to the cart <laughs> on my phone oh, right I now. I just wanted to check. Yes, you can add I it to the cart. I thought they only served cafes because you can like get them branded with your like cafe yeah. print or something. Yeah. We saw these for the first time at the SCA Expo last year and you were like a magnet to them. And I haven't forgotten about them. And then yep. they were there again this year. Yeah. So maybe we should just suck it up and get some of those. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we can do that. Okay. Okay. We might get our coffee mugs. <laughs> Top 10 prettiest coffee products according to my wife, Sarah. Also disclaimer, I do not know all coffee products that exist everywhere in the world. Just the ones that you know of. <laughs> just the ones that I just know Just the ones of. that you know of. Yeah. Okay. And in well, a year, it could be a different list. I can keep reviewing more so that you can discover more of them. I think we have enough. Mm. <laughs> That's it for today. We'll see you next week. <laughs>